Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your January 2018 general readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers and welcome to the new year. Although I am recording these in the last week of December. Thank you always for your likes, share, subscribes, your support, your feedback and comments. And to those of you who continue to keep me so busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings, always an honor and a pleasure. Thank you to my regular clients and my new ones. <coughs> and as always, if there are any of you who are interested in any personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage, click on the about button. That'll give you more information on uh, what I do, the services I offer and all the different types of readings that I do. I do a wide variety of readings. Also has my contact information there and you can also find my contact information attached to the description of every video I post. Uh, I do a lot of different types of personal readings uh, but quite popular this time of the year are these six and twelve month overviews I do which are pretty complex in-depth spreads which look at the energies coming into your life uh, in every main area of your life uh, over the next year. Uh, which you can do any time of the year, but the end of the year moving into the beginning of a new year is always a pretty popular time. I always get a lot of requests for those. Uh, so if you're interested in any of the readings that I do, turnaround time is pretty fast. I do readings full time, five to six days a week. That is what I do. So we can usually uh, schedule a reading for you live or recorded anywhere from a few days upwards of a couple of weeks, but almost always within a two week period or so we can set up a personal reading for you live or recorded. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. And uh, for fast answers to quick questions, you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy. That's if you just have, uh, you know, like a decision you need to make on the fly, a really quick look at something, a new relationship or an issue of some kind. Uh, it's a really great app if you just have a, you know, fast answers to fast questions, as we say. Uh, it puts me at your fingertips pretty much 24-7, assuming I'm not sleeping or otherwise, otherwise occupied. For the rest of the readings I do, you can just contact me through, via my email, and I will always get back with you within uh, 24 hours of your initial contact with more information. So moving right along, make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos as well. You may find that they play out a little more predictably for you and just give you additional insight and clarity because, uh, you know, these are general readings, as you all know, and they may resonate differently in different areas of your life because there's so many of you watching. The details specifics are going to vary, but the energy fundamentally remains the same. So if you watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, if you know them and if you can, you'll just get... Uh, hopefully a bit more insight and clarity. Okay, let's get right into this reading. This is for the earth sign of Taurus, our bulls, our lovely Taurians. Let's see what January 2018, the beginning of the new year, has in store for the earth sign of Taurus. Okay, Taurus. <coughs> we begin with justice, followed by the ace of pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups, followed by the Page of Swords, the Emperor, followed by the Knight of Swords, and the Magician, followed by the Knight of Wands from the bottom of the deck, representing your overall energy and guidance for the month of January 2018. We have the Three of Cups. All right, Taurus, let's take a look here. So it looks like... Some of you may be involved in a legal situation. You may be waiting for a decision to be handed down in a legal situation. This, uh, Whatever the decision or outcome, it looks like it may involve some money, whether it's money coming to you or money that you're wanting to come to you, like perhaps you're in civil litigation of some kind. Maybe you're suing and you're waiting for money. Uh, as a result of a, a positive decision or some of you may be on the receiving end. Maybe you're, you know, getting sued and somebody's suing you for money as well. So I feel like the majority of you, well, now I'm feeling kind of energy on both sides of that story. So some of you are in legal situations as well. We, uh, with justice and the ace of pentacles, it does indicate, uh, the justice in the upright position does implicate that, in, <laughs> imply that the decision will most likely work out in your favor for those of you going through legal decisions or wait, going through court cases, you're waiting on legal decisions, whether that's waiting for a sum of money to be repaid to you 
or waiting to see if you're going to have to repay a sum of money. Justice in the upright means that it will be fair, whatever the outcome is, because that's what justice represents. It's blind, meaning it's supposed to be based entirely upon the facts, proven motivations. This is the card that says what you put into something is what... Uh, is going to be directly reflected in the outcome as well. It's based on actual choices, decisions, and facts. It's paired with the, uh, clarified and paired with the Ace of Pentacles. So here we have Earth Energy, which is the element which governs Pentacles. And in the Tarot, um, this usually manifests in an earthly, tangible way. Often it can manifest in the area of your life that deals with money, finances, property, real estate, assets, job, etc. Aces are the number one. They represent new beginnings, new starts. So this is a tangible new beginning. And this card often comes up for moving and relocating as well. And it can sometimes represent receiving uh, an, a sum of money, an unexpected sum of money, typically a significant sum of money, whatever that might mean to you as well, that may enable you to have a new start or a new beginning as well. Some of you, I am getting that, that there's maybe some kind of civil litigation. You may be either waiting to see if you're going to be receiving a, a verdict or a decision that includes um, some kind of payout uh, coming in or that you might be, you know, expected to pay out. Some of you too, because we have the Ten of Cups next next to that as well with a Page of Swords. Some of you, you may be waiting on um, some kind of legal negotiations or selling. It could be a division of assets for a family home, a family business, family money of some kind. Could be a division of, of a state, maybe after someone's passed on or um, something in probate. Could be that you're waiting on money either to get into a house or money on the sale of a house on both sides of that because next we have and some of you would also you may be waiting on a decision or this could have already been happening at the end of December. It could have already happened at the end of December and this is the energy that's still carrying through. Some of you are going to be moving and relocating to as a result of something that's come in something maybe that's come to an end some of you may be ending a job contract you may have moved whether temporarily or for a, a, a significant period of time you may have moved somewhere because of a job and that uh, may be coming to an end and you may be moving back again somewhere else um, I am getting that some of you are moving to a new moving to a new house you know um, you may have sold one that you were in or it's being sold I'm also getting as well kind of an interesting almost confusing mix of stories coming through so next we have the ten of cups and the page of swords so cups is uh, water energy usually deals with the area of our life that uh, deals with emotions feelings relationships tends represent the end of a cycle or culmination achievement coming full circle uh, kind of energy beautiful energy often nicknamed the happily ever after card or the happy home card there's a strong connection with home and family uh, with the ten of cups it can also represent um, marriage family home children childbirth uh, it could be that some of you Wow, I just got adoption too, which I sometimes get as well, and it's right next to justice. Some of you may have gotten approved or some some final approval or notification of uh, a successful adoption process, or that you may be adding to your family, and there's this sense of joy and abundance and of things coming full circle and connecting, because that's also the the energy of the Ten of Cups. It represents something coming home, coming full circle, culmination. Sometimes this comes up when like the last child leaves the home as well to get married or go off to college, uh, retirement, you know, where a portion of your life has come to a close and a new one is beginning. There's a new chapter beginning. So again, regardless of how the details and specifics vary, because they will in a general reading, there's so many of you watching, the energy fundamentally remains the same. Uh, decisions, outcomes, negotiations, contracts, they're all look to be working out in your favor, particularly in a financial sense or a legal justice sense as well. Things finally coming together with home and family in quite a beautiful way, whether that's merging families, getting into a home, getting out of a home, waiting on property issues, waiting for approval too, that looks to be coming in in a rather positive way um, and affecting the home and family in a very positive way as well. Paired with a page of swords this can represent young people uh, yeah, children or young people as well uh, and some of you again this decision I am getting a strong 
some kind of happiness coming full circle around a child or a young person. And I feel like some of you, again, I'm getting this adoption or adding to the family. Some of you may be finding out you're pregnant or giving birth, but I'm getting a, a legal situation as well. It's like a, 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 you maybe you maybe have been waiting to adopt a child and that's coming through or you just received notification that you can get the child or the child is on its way. I'm not exactly sure how that works uh, nowadays. And the laws, of course, may vary from state to state in different countries. But for some of you, it looks like that's coming through. There's just a sense of joy around home and family for January 2018. Uh, some of you, um, some of you, a child may be going off to college. Maybe you just got approval, or there's you're you're planning, you're getting ready to. Your child may be going off to college, or the last child may be getting married. I feel like last child because, uh, you know, last child or only child. So after this occurs, whether they're going off to college in this new year or getting married, it's kind of like that culmination of a certain portion of your life is coming to a close too. Um, and and I, it's always interesting to get the feedback back and see uh, how this actually plays out specifically in the lives of, of, you know, different lives of everybody who's watching. Um, but pages also represent messages and messengers. And again, it's kind of that same sort of feeling, positive messages, positive outcomes, positive decisions, contracts, negotiations. Uh, it's all coming through in a really positive way, January 2018. Uh, next, we have the Emperor and the Knight of Swords. The Emperor, uh, on an energetic level, the Emperor represents a structure, self-discipline, kind of policy, adhering to the rules, paying attention to the details, uh, you know, keeping your, staying goal focused and being, um, attention to detail, self-control, structure, discipline. I mean, the, the, the emperor can also represent fathers or father figures as well. Uh, the emperor likes to uh, live and rule in a world where everything kind of goes according to books, according to policy, according to the steps. You know, all the planes, trains, and automobiles run on time. Um, it also can be advice on an energetic level to stay focused, make sure you pay attention to details, particularly when it comes to any kind of legal situations or paperwork, contracts, negotiations. The emperor in business work and career can represent, um, it can represent a person in a position of some status and authority in a legal situation. It can represent a judge in business. It could be a CEO, president, uh, someone in a position of some status and authority and decision-making ability. And he is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Uh, you have two knights and the knight of wands too. Knights can represent the speed at which a situation moves, usually a pretty fast moving speed because they're known for being spontaneous and impulsive. Uh, they usually represent offers, opportunities, something being brought. So the knight of swords is bringing information, also news messages. I'm getting like repeating themes here. The Knight of Swords is next to the Page of Swords. Messages. Swords is air energy. In the tarot, this is uh, internal psychological energy. Uh, the energy of the suit of swords is all about what goes on up in our heads, what we think, our outlooks, our perspectives, our belief systems, and how that affects the way that we relate uh, and communicate to the world and people in the world. So the Knight of Swords is delivering could be information, news. It's very to the point and direct um, because the court cards of the suit of swords are not uh, known for sugarcoating things. Sometimes they can, uh, sometimes they can come across as a bit cool, detached, emotionally distant. They're not necessarily, but they believe in kind of going right to the heart of the matter, um, which is the energy of the suit of swords: truth, insight, clarity. Uh, the Knight of Swords is, is, would be delivering information, news, messages. It is sometimes referred to as the Inconvenient Truth card because while it delivers a message, truth and clarity, it can sometimes be a, a challenge to receive. But the energy is feeling very positive for me, so I don't think that whatever this news or information is coming in, it's almost like the entire month of January is is all about 
news communication, things going back and forth, but being delivered, like waiting for decisions and outcomes and those coming in, uh, you know, contracts, negotiation, waiting for notice of something important and significant that's going to have a profound effect on your home and family life, perhaps, um, whether it's where you're at or, or maybe a place that you're, or, or maybe about moving or relocating for some of you. And it feels like the information is actually coming rapidly. It's like, it feels like it's more than one message. It feels like it's a lot of communication around perhaps a primary message. And it feels like it's very fast moving as well. Okay. But it's happy. It's positive energy as well. Your overall is the, the three of cups as well. So overall energy for the, uh, for the month of January is quite lovely and celebratory as well. So I don't feel like there is much, if anything here, that would be difficult uh, to receive in terms of news, information, uh, decisions etc. I just feel like this a combination of the Emperor and the Knight of Swords it almost feels like a secondary step because it feels like there's something that comes in at the end of December beginning of January that's positive it's like you get the news that um, you know justice and the ace of Pentacles you get the a news about initial decision about something or an outcome or you've been given the green light to go ahead with something uh, adoption marriage perhaps family buying a property selling a property it's like the end of December beginning of January the initial information comes through the initial decision uh, outcome comes through and then somewhere around the middle maybe the third week or so of January it feels like there's more news and information uh, coming in or perhaps a big final decision uh, coming in about something and it feels like it happens very fast like this is going back and forth very fast and all of a sudden you're having to kind of scramble to pull things together and figure out how things are going to go it's kind of like waiting for approval on a loan or waiting to hear about an adoption or a legal court case and it's like you're waiting and you get uh, like a, some initial news or a precursor of news and it's positive and you're feeling really good and then all of a sudden you get like the final and more details and you're having to kind of hustle and put everything together uh, it's kind of interesting almost confusing uh, to me not to you when it happens so added towards the end of January 2018 we have the magician and the knight of wands and I feel like here too it's like at the end of January things are really speeding up you're being asked to uh, perhaps act quite quickly you're you're manifesting the energy of the magician you're being asked to uh, manifest the energy of the magician which is the magician is a very independent powerful energy because that's who he is he's worked long and hard to get to where he's at he's reached a point in his craft where he has all the experience now the tools the wisdom the knowledge to build create shape whatever he wants to uh, if the magician has a challenge it's probably in working with other people because he has his own way of doing things it's the way he's always done it and <laughs> it's the best way he feels things ought to be done uh, and uh, it's clarified by the knight of wands we have another knight offers opportunities but I feel like here this is the knight of wands represents the speed of a situation of what a situation is moving at and I feel like at the end of January 2018 Taurus it feels like it feels like kind of the last half of January is almost a little on the frantic side not really in a negative way so make sure to stay balanced and don't let yourself get emotionally all twerked up you don't necessarily tend to being that lovely grounded earth sign that you are um, but you do have a certain step-by-step -step kind of energy that a lot of earth signs do have and it feels like the last half of January may be a bit of a challenge because it feels like you're having to move on whatever this whatever this news information messages approval things coming in in the first half of the month it's like the last half of the month all of a sudden it's here it's this reality maybe that you've been waiting on it's happening it's really positive but there's a lot of detail around it there's a lot of things that have to be kind of pulled together assembled paperwork if it's moving you know how chaotic moving can be there's so many little details to take care of you're well able to do it that energy the, ma the magician says you're well able to do it make sure to stay structured focused detailed keep a plan pay attention to any details if you're signing paperwork and getting things in order in terms of signatures money again adoption legal processes make sure that you pay attention to details have everything in order uh, keep your list straight um, 
but it feels like you're, you're having to kind of put everything together and get everything ready uh, quite quickly. So just make sure to maintain that lovely earth stability, solidness that you naturally have, but you may want to uh, kind of kick the speed up a little bit more in the last half of January 2018. Exciting, powerful reading. It's, I, I almost get this sense that whatever area of your life that this is manifesting in, it feels like something you've been waiting on for a while. And it's like you get initial news and it's great. You're like, wow, this is great. And then all of a sudden they're like, okay, here, now it's time. You got to sign this. You got to do this. We got to put this together. We have to pack this stuff. We have to, you know, uh, make these plans into actual reality. So kick it up a notch for the last half of January, um, most of you Torians. And maybe ask for help if you need it to. And maybe you're going to have a lot of help from family and community. Um, or it's there for you if you need it and to reach out to. Because your overall energy from the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. This is the card of, it's, it's a celebratory card. It's a card of actually being out, having a good time celebrating, uh, but it's with really good friends. It's about enjoying the time that you spend with certain people because you feel really connected and authentic. It's like kindred spirit, kinship, sisterhood, brotherhood, your best friends. It also, uh, on an energetic level, represents community as well. So it could be that you're getting a lot of help. You could be uh, joining a uh, community. It could be that the community is pulling together to help in this situation. And also, if you're in any difficulty or you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, particularly in the last half of the month, Taurus, don't be afraid to call on friends and community uh, as well because it's right there with you. There's such a, a happiness to this. Uh, to January 2018. Whatever it is that you've been waiting on, it feels like it's very near and dear to your heart, however it's playing out. And there's there's a lot of people there that are kind of have been privy and witness to that and are helping you celebrate and helping you uh, kind of pull together. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it, Taurus. So Taurus, that pretty much wraps up your January 2018 reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I felt myself a little breathless and talking faster during this reading because that's kind of the buildup of energy that it feels like uh, being an, an intuitive channeler. Not only do I get the psychic messages, but I also get the emotions and the physical sensations as well. So it feels like one of those months where it starts out at a certain speed and just kind of ramps up from there. So, uh, but very exciting and quite a lovely, happy, finally kind of feeling. So good for you, Taurus. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I hope that it's been helpful, uh, giving you some food for thought or perhaps validated um, what you're already going through and have been thinking and feeling. Again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel, click on that about button, and it'll give you all that information and my contact details. You can also find my contact details attached to the description of every video I post. Feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you and schedule a reading for you uh, or as a gift for friends, family, and loved ones if you like, just as soon as possible. And for uh, fast answers to fast questions, you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Iris Chips as well and that link is also attached to all the videos that I post. So Taurus, I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the January 2018 mid-month readings. I hope you, uh, the rest of your holidays wrap up nicely as we transition and move into a beautiful new year. I hope to see you back here again soon and as always I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.